Welcome everyone. The topic for this presentation is customer analysis percentage sales planning. So basically we will be talking about the customer analysis thereby and probably what amount of percentage that is uh, actually attributes to the overall sales. So agenda is definitely we try to understand the approach uh, whether we are talking about the opening sales presentations, what role does the technology has to play with it. We need to understand whether this particular procedures of customer analysis and probably of sales planning, what are the relationships out there and how to ensure that a successful sales happening it. Remember, we, is the prospect still not listening or is there something wrong with our approach? Should we change our approach as the flexibility is concerned? So that is all, all per se the uh, content of this particular presentation. Remember, from the salesperson, what is the approach? A salesperson basically sees a buyers and probably grows the subject. Try to figure out the requirements of the buyers thereby and if it can match matched with the buyer skills. So from the time when the salesperson first sees the buyer to the beginning of the discussion of the product and that is the salesperson and that is the approach that we will be talking about it. Could, uh, could last absolutely few milliseconds into minutes and probably can forge a bond for a lifelong of friendship so that is what we are looking into it but let us understand as for the initial stages of approaches which is all about greetings and meetings so we meet the person we greet the person we strive to build up a cord with them one of the approach of the communication technique will be discussed out here in this presentation itself remember this is what we are going to excel in let us proceed. We, how do we approach? We, we all understand we have discussed prospecting, pre-approaching, approaching, presentations, trial, close, will determine the objectives if there are any objections thereby around it. Now meeting the objections, probably rectify your presentation, rectify your product, curtail the services or manicure the product and the services thereof, probably go for the trial close and eventually close the deal. Once the deal has been closed up, we follow it up. But where are we talking about? We are talking in this particular approach of customer analysis for sales planning. Yes. So the sales presentation method determines how, how will you approach the subject? How will you basically initiate discussion on a particular subject altogether? So we need to go about by the approach part and the presentation part there about. In case things does not materialize, we repeat repeatedly go to the step number one again and again as the case might be this is what exactly we'll be talking around it so take approach seriously as as it comes around it can we take this approach as seriously as possible some feel that this is the most important step in helping anyone or someone so caution sales sales field people will look at this approach very seriously and take into consideration how to go across it this is what we will be talking around it right so if unsuccessful you may never have the opportunity to move into the presentation you cannot probably you cannot tell your story and probably you cannot make an impression in the very first place so yes approach is very pertinent approach is very critical and it is probably the most important aspect of the sales so mm, is over when you begin discussing the product is itself if the approach is over by the time you have initiated the product on uh, discussion on the product itself how do you go around it let us su summarize First, we meet the person, then we greet the person. In this process, we are trying to understand, you know, the moment we are greeting the person, we are already uh, establishing the customers on a higher pedestal. We then start to build rapport and to find shared amount of interest, which is common to both of them, the, the person, the customers and the sales fellow goes through the approach and probably discusses the product thereby this is what we will be talking around a meeting greeting rapport building goes through the push, uh, approach discuss the product and thereafter discusses the marketing plan but if this if we are been able to come to the marketing plan and if you think the customer is getting hooked up into the marketing aspect of it or the business thereby then probably you throw the ball or through the towel in the game and Gave the business proposition thereby. Probably once you have done with it, 
you might have inside enough amount of interest the customer would like to visit uh, or test your product altogether experience it and probably close the deal thereby so the right to approach you have to prove that you are worthy of the prospects time prospects being the customer their attention and you are serious about it exhibiting specific product or business knowledge expressing a sincere desire to solve the buyer's problem and probably to satisfy the need as per se so stating or implying that your product will save money or increase the firm's product or the profitability altogether displaying a service of attitude this is what we are linking to it so buyers reactions to the sales persons in very early minutes of presentation are very critical to the successful understanding or culmination of the product thereby you need to come with it somewhere down the corner your attentions during the approach it is common for the sales person to experience a certain amount of tension because you never know how comfortable or how or how, what kind of person you are actually approaching when contacting a pro prospect so there's nothing wrong being a little bit nervous little bit little bit on a tenter row successful sales person have learned to use creative imaginary to relax and probably to concentrate or probably to rubbish the unsolicited thoughts that crosses your mind so first impression as the last impression as they say make it a lasting impression is what i would love to say to you your first impression is projected by your appearances your attitude that you carry on your sleeves you only have one chance believe me or not only one chance to make a most favorable first impression because thereafter any impression that you create will never be the first impression it can be built upon it it can be the second third fourth inter impression that comes around it but first impression remains the first impression to make a favorable impression we have business clothes that are suitable and probably fairly conservative in nature be neat in dressing and in your grooming refrain from smoking chewing gums drinking in your prospects office keep an erect postures that that is their leave all unnecessary material outside the office which is possible if possible sit down if possible sit down all together you need to ensure that you are doing the right thing to make a favorable impression be enthusiastic be positive for the interview for the interaction that is going to happen around it smile there is, it is not taxing enough please smile enough do not apologize for taking the prospects time definitely uh, be sure be confident of your work do not imply that you were just passing by at the same time you should not say that this is only by chance that you are meeting around it so be serious if you be sure that you are serious about what you are stating and what you are interacting maintain an eye contact if prospects offer to shake hand do so with a firm positive grip while maintaining an eye contact learn how to pronounce the prospect's name correctly please this is one of most distracting factor or might upset the prospect so please pronounce the name properly and if you are not sure about it ask how to pronounce the name this will show an element of respect and your seriousness towards the persons or the relation that you are talking about opening with a statement is what we are looking around it opening with a demonstration people might be looking as to make a first impression or let's say in quieting or probably inciting certain thoughts in the brain of the customers or the prospect so these are three approach categories when you want to make a first impression either open opening with a statement opening with a demonstration or opening with a questions or questions thereby so we will talk about the sales presentation me method the memorize will be all about a statement and formula is all about persuasive selling we are talking about statement but when it comes into in to something which probably uh, talk about demonstrations probably talk about questioning they are one and the same as far as memorizations are concerned of formula uh, formula or should i say persuasive communication is concerned remember only in the question you are asking some sort of interaction from your prospect and that is where the need satisfaction and problem solving builds upon so that is where we need to go around it that doesn't mean the opening statement or giving a demonstration is by any way inferior in concept but probably if you can make an open statement give a demonstration and then probably solicit informations or feedback you have already won the bat battle so let us un understand approaches to both statement and demonstration approach what are the techniques you are talking about ten attention you are talking about interest you are talking about transition so probably you are trying to draw attention 
concepts, thought process, and a focus of the person into one of your product or the services that you are professing about it. The situation faced determine, determines the approaches. Influences are all about it. Now and then, influences on the approaches to use the candle thereby. What products have been sold, whether the call is a repeat call, whether the what is the usage of the customer times, the amount of time, the awareness of the problem as the case might be. This is what we are looking forward to. We need to understand how do we go forward, what actually happens, what will be the eventualities. So we need to understand the product being sold. Uh, whether the call is a repeat call, customer needs, amount of time, awareness of the problem, and so on and so forth. Mind you, approach leads to the sales fellow that comes around it, which we need to understand every now and then. We have to come across it, otherwise it will not take a shape eventually. We need to understand the approaches thereby. So, Objective for the questioning approach of the interaction that comes around. Now, when once you start having an interaction, once you start having a dialogue, you understand there is a requirement in the needs of the person altogether. The person comes up with certain problems, certain features, which is of utmost requirement. We will talk about the fulfilling of these needs as on when on basis, solve the problems come or coming across with it. We are sure to uh, have the prospects tell you what is bothering them, what is their requirement, what is the problem that we are looking into it. Intention to do something about them as on when on basis as the case might be. Let us understand the statement, demonstration, the question comes around it, how the approaches, technique changes from the presentation. The statement is all about introductory, complimentary, referral, premium. What we are looking forward to demonstrating the showmanship is what we are asserting. So the question is customer benefits, curiosity, opinion, shock, multiple question as the, question, uh, as the case might be. This is what we are looking forward every now and then. I keep on coming back to my golden rule of the scale that comes around it. Follow the golden rule by placing the other person in interest, giving priorities to them before your own self-interest. This will eventually avoid losing your sale, one, and destroying your business relationship. So nurture your relationship, take care of it. Putting others purpose interest before your interest will satisfy their ego. So opening with statement is introductory approach or complementary approach, referral approach or a premium approach. What exactly are the parameters that you're looking for in introductions as far as the statement is concerned? Are we talking about the introduction about yourself, the product, complementary approach as in addendum with their facilities that they're looking into it, referral approach with somebody has been referred to you, you are taking, quoting somebody's name and the premium approach in the sense of finding inquisitiveness and giving a superficial feeling to the end customer or the prospect. Let us understand with the demonstrating opening. Now, this is where the product takes the centerpiece altogether. It is all about the showmanship. It is all about how you approach and give a presentation thereby. Let us understand the opening with questions. Opening with question is most common, most common of the errors wherein you are trying to figure out the or giving a stimulus to their cognitive abilities altogether. Customer benefit approach is what we are looking into it. We are ensuring the customer is having a wonderful time. Look, what is the most common approach is the opening of uh, question. Then we have the curiosity approach, you know, wherein you are actually finding out or probably putting up a question in, in such a fashion that the customer is bound to think about it. What should be the approach thereby? This is what I see is the curiosity approach as the case might be. Then we have the opinion approach where you might quote somebody have some heavyweight in the market or in the industry or you may quote the overall public opinion thereby to sway your attention, to sway the attention of your prospects towards you. And that is what is an opinion approach is all about. Then we have the shock approach. This is where you can give, you know, certain things at certain times. If you go to the news readers at the television, you watch that they will present the show or present the news in such a fashion where they will shock you with the first statement and then follow it up with the uh, event or follow it with the news content about it. And there are other channels would be providing 
to the news content and probably eventually leading to you to the eventual effects of the shocking thing so the way you want to grab your eyeballs and that is what the shock approach even in the sales context we can go around with it multiple a popular multiple question approach is about the spin model spin model is all about situation p for problem i for implication and need payment payoff as the case might be this is what we are looking at payoff is what is benefiting the customer if i could show you how it can solve your problem that is what we are looking forward to technology in the approach is powerful attention grabbers sounds visual touch you name it and we can have it this is what get, gets the eyeballs what is what gets the attention of the prospect thereby so let us understand again the approach sales scenario in terms how to present it more than your approach you need come about figure out the four question theory which can be direct which can be indirect or non direct if can you be very direct with the uh, to the customers or to the prospect can you put up across an indirect question so that it doesn't becomes very offensive can you rephrase a statement the way it uh, which seems very polite at the same time probably gives an impetus to their inquisitiveness or a redirect questions all together so if you have you probably if you can quote an incident which has happened to someone else and probably ask the person to be in the center of that particular incident what will be their rea reaction let us proceed with the direct questions first can it be answered with such words such as mr jones is reducing manufacturing cost is it important to you what kind how many never phrase as direct negative or a question that can cut you off absolutely so mr jones is reducing a manufacturing cost important to you the look what is when you cannot give a negative thing don't you think mr jones is very negative is detrimental to your prospects or to your growth it can be an important right it's the way to put a negative questions that i have put in the uh, on your things and the negative questions can be put asked directly which will be all wrong so what kind how many let uh, expect uh, example may i help you if in case there are there are problems that has been bothering a person probably you can say may i help you let us understand the direct question limitation it doesn't absolutely doesn't tells much in fact it at times keeps the person in the back foot so there is little or probably no feedback at all so non directive or an open ended questions how do you go about begins with who what where when how or where, why so non directive mind, mind you who what where when how and why so who will use this product ask this question as to who will use this products as on when on basis what features are you looking for in a product like this again a question that needs to be understood its purpose is to obtain unknown or additional information thereby its purpose is to obtain unknown additional information thereby the rephrase question is useful if you are clear unclear if you need clarity at all are you saying that the price is the most common important thing you are interested in then why are you saying it if i can improve the delivery time you could be interested in buying if that the, is that the case as you want to go around it the re redirect questions will tell you to use the change in direction of the conversation often from a negative to a positive so from a negative connotations to a positive line like that is what the redirect questions would be going about it imagine you walk into a prospect office introduce yourself and get this response i'm sorry but there is no use in talking we are satisfied with the present suppliers thanks by the way for coming let's say is politely negating you right so what do you do a redirect question would be would you agree that you continually need to find new ways to increase your company sales probably you are directing it in a different fashion the company says so that what is the direct question the direct question is i am here to help you augment your sales right so three rules for using questions use questions that you can anticipate the answer to or that will lead you into a situation which cannot be escaped pause probably wait for submitting a question and most importantly i have drawn here in this particular sense listen 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 what is happening in and around you listen 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 what the other person is saying and what is he meaning so be flexible in your approach and the last thing as the case might be look the person is doing a yoga practice out, out here probably be flexible be willing to change be ready to change be never be fixed it on your planned approach that is why you need to several methods to open your sales presentation yes thereby we come to an end of this presentation thank you for watching this video